Today on Penguin Propaganda, we are going to install Final Fantasy XIV using Steam Proton on Ubuntu 20.0.4 with the addition of the NVIDIA drivers. This machine is running an NVIDIA GTX 970 video card, so it will require a couple of extra steps. If you are running an ATI card, the NVIDIA specific steps are not necessary. For the purposes of this video, I have done a complete fresh install of the system, including all package updates during the install. I have done zero updates after the install was completed. When installing the system, I selected to install third-party drivers to get the NVIDIA software installed, and also selected the regular packages rather than the minimal install. This will slow down the install and could be perceived as a system hang. The actual time was around 12 minutes to get past this screen. Now I've also sped up the rest of the OS install here so we can get to the Steam and Final Fantasy setup quicker. After installing the operating system, there are a few other things that must be installed first before Steam will work out of the box on Ubuntu 20.0.4. I was surprised at the difficulty in finding the solutions to these issues, as there are numerous errors that occur in neither DuckDuckGo, Google, or Stack Overflow turn up many accurate answers to the issues in play. The following is the step-by-step -step install that worked for me. The first thing I found necessary was to install the i386 architecture. This is accomplished with the following command. sudo space dpkg space dash dash add dash architecture space i386. After this, just run an apt space update to reread the package list. The next step is to get the Linux headers installed. The easiest way to get this done is to just install the package linux-headers-generic. In the command line, we simply type sudo space apt space install space linux-headers-generic. At this point, if you were to install Steam, you would still get errors when the GUI attempts to launch, and you would see a lot of weird GLX info errors. To get around these, we must install the i386 libraries for NVIDIA. This is a step where you will want to be careful. Make sure to install for the version of NVIDIA driver you have live on your system. In my case, I have the 470 drivers, so I do the following command sudo space apt space install space lib nvidia dash gl dash 470 colon i386 if you happen to have the 440 drivers for instance you would do sudo space apt space install space lib nvidia dash gl dash 440 colon i386 do not mix these up. I have tried this to see what would happen. For instance, I installed the 440i386 over top the 470 drivers, and it broke the video drivers completely. Make sure you match the versions up and double check. Finally, we can install Steam. I originally tried this through the Ubuntu software store, but I ran into some issues with that. I'm not sure if it's out of date or what the problem was. However, running the install manually worked fine, so I just recommend that. To do this, just run the following in the terminal. sudo space apt space install space steam. Once the base install of steam is launched, it will need to download a host of updates for a few minutes, and then the install will be completed. After getting Steam installed, we will need to log in, configure Steam to use Proton, set the Proton version for Final Fantasy XIV, and do some configuration for the game to work properly. Let's get to work. The first step is turning on Proton so we can install games that do not support Linux. To do this, we go to Steam, Settings, Steam Play, and check Enable Steam for supported titles. Also, check the box next to Enable Steam Play for all other titles. You will now need to exit Steam and restart the application. 
After this, you should be able to begin the Final Fantasy XIV install. Keep in mind, the keys are not used in the game. These are used on the MOG station to tie this version to your account. So you can just hide the keys unless you need them for that purpose. First, we want to start the launcher without making any changes. It will take a few minutes for Steam to set everything up, including the Vulcan shaders. As you can see, I've sped this part up substantially. Once it's ready, we will get the new launcher, which will leave us with a splash screen and no options. The Final Fantasy install for Steam simply installs the launcher for the game, but there are actually two launchers. There is one which uses some new DirectX calls to the latest version of Internet Explorer, which does not run properly on Linux, and an older version which will run properly. So due to this, we need to complete some extra steps so that we can use the old launcher. After the new launcher starts, simply close out of it, select yes to exit at the prompt, then give Steam a second to catch up, and then we will do some edits to a file called ffxiv underscore boot dot cfg or FF14 boot config. To get to it, right click Final Fantasy 14 in the Steam list, go to Manage, Browse Local Files, select the Steam Apps folder, go to Comp Data, and open folder 39210. If you're using the free trial, the folder is 312060. Next, open PFX, the prefix folder, Drive C, Users, Steam user, my documents, my games, the Final Fantasy folder, and open the ff14boot.config with the text editor. Now just change the line that says browser to one and change DX11 enabled to zero. This will set the old launcher to default and also turn off the X11, which in my experience has been pretty buggy for Final Fantasy XIV. Now we can get out of this and run the old launcher. Simply accept the terms and log in to begin the download of the main game. This download is rather large and should take some time. This would be an excellent chance to get some work done around the house or make some coffee. I have sped things up quite a bit in these sections and cut quite a bit out as well so we can get to the major details. Upon first launch, you will see the game appear to work fine. It'll launch the normal intro screen and main menu. You then need to select start and it'll ask for your data center. One issue I realized after fiddling around for a few minutes was Steam was blocking the selection button with the game code notification. So alt tab to that and close it. Also, you cannot click on the top part, but only the lower left side when selecting the data center. Once you get past the data center selection screen, you will see a constant loading icon and a black screen. This will require another fix to get past, but loading the game in this manner is necessary to move on to the next step. Just close out of the game, and we're going to need to make another file edit. Now go back into the same folder you were in before, and this time edit the ff14.cfg file. That's ffxiv.cfg. Look for the line cutscene movie opening. That is usually set to zero by default, and set this to one. Save and close out, and then go ahead and start the launcher again. This is generally all that is needed to get the game to work properly.
Now, I had a weird bug occur, which caused my character to be stuck in movement and constantly turning. The fix for this was to disable the controller in the game menu. On this machine, I did not have a controller connected. Further testing on other systems never duplicated this error, but I'm leaving the fix here in case anyone runs into this problem. There are many other tweaks out there to get the game running more optimally, but this guide would be too long to go over them all. I would highly recommend reading up on Glorious Egg Roll's Proton Patches if you are inclined to get your hands dirty digging into files and fixes. Feel free to comment below with your experiences and tips. If you'd like to support the channel, please share it with your friends or click the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Sometimes you might find me streaming on Twitch on the Penguin Propaganda channel, so stop over and say hello. Thanks for watching.